All right, here we are in Age of Mythology. This may well be the last turn of the game, although there are three tokens uh, still out there. So it's either this turn or next turn. It's just whether it ends by an automatic victory on buying the Wonder, which would be this turn, or next turn, either through the Wonder, or if it lasts that long till the end of the turn, because the end of the turn in which the pips are, the victory point pips are, are all granted, the game ends. It is possible, though, with people holding uh, the Great Temple, that those markers could actually go without the wonder going and end the turn here. That's a hard... A hard uh, it doesn't look likely, given what's happened. So, uh, our good friend, the Greeks, who are in very bad shape overall, did a production, as did the Egyptians. A lot of points went out. Uh, overall, I think, I don't know, the Norse didn't turn out too bad, even though they were last in the pile, because these were just normal productions. They weren't bonus ones that were greatly valued. But then, the Norse advanced uh, into the Mythic Age, so now it's in a position where either of these players could buy the Wonder. Uh, and if either one does, they win the game, basically because largest armies in the Egyptians' hands, most buildings in the Norse hands, so it's a race to get the wonder, and the Greeks, well, maybe they can prolong it, maybe not. We'll see. The Norse, on their second action, took a big production where they were able to pretty much, they did food, they were pretty much able to deny everyone else production. They are almost at the point of being able to build. If anybody else did a production, they would probably have enough points to go over. So the Greeks did, I don't remember, something. Uh, I think they did a trade to reorganize their stuff. They don't really have a great option. But the Egyptians are doing an attack. They're using ISIS and they're going to, they have this special ability that they can use. The first unit eliminated in the battle can be resurrected and returned to the battle. They're gonna attack the Norse and they're going to attack for resources because they believe that's the most valuable thing that they can hit. Uh, destroying a building would put them close, but right now, yeah, close to, actually with the siege engine, they'd be destroying two buildings. Uh, so that might be as worthwhile with their big army. Mm -hmm. Mm, gotta think. See, because the resources, they're gonna get to go first. So if they take a gather, if they get a bonus gather, they might be able to get the jump, but they probably have to hand something off. But if they put it in a, such a situation that the Norse, even if they build the wonder, can't win, then that's more worthwhile. So I think they're gonna go for destroying building. Ugh, no, because if they build the wonder, they could build two things, build a house along with it, boom. Okay, so they're gonna go for resources. So in that massive battle, and I got to roll lots and lots of times without doing anything, and you all know how much I love that, rolling a fistful of dice and not getting any sixes for either side of the same number or whatever. It's really great to waste your time that way, I have to say. Uh, anyway, the Egyptians ended up winning a massive battle. The Norse fought it to the bloody end. They lost two buildings from it. Uh, oh, that's not what I was taking. I was taking resources. Ew. Pity. There were good building choices. The, the Great Temple and the Storehouse. The Storehouse would have cut into their resources, hopefully. But I want to take resources. And I want to take stuff that I won't lose. Here's a lot of blue up. Those are always good. And I'll take the gold too. All right, five resources. But uh, the bigger thing is I really, I wiped out the Norse army. Now this means the Greeks are probably gonna attack too. Uh, well, no, they're not gonna get a chance. They already went, right? Three times, I think. Hard to tell. Six cards, yeah, they spent three. So all we have left is the Norse and they wish they could buy the wonder, 
they don't have the points to do it. What are they going to do? Gosh, they have a useless card. A couple of builds, and I gather that's not going to do them much. <sighs> Tough call. I'll figure out what to do with them. So they went for the build and took a house uh, that got them so they don't lose any resources. They're one point away from their maximum. They can still buy the, the wonder if they get the points for it. The Egyptians are fine with what they're holding. By the way, they got two pips for winning the battle, which puts them in an interesting position. And the poor Greeks, of course, are just screwed. Uh, some cards were held. This is the last turn, no matter what. These guys are going to get allocated, so there's not much that... Well, there's nothing that can change that. So, the only real question is, does it end a little bit early by somebody grabbing a wonder? And, you know, who? <laughs> if either of these guys takes it, they win the game. This guy gets it? I don't believe so. I believe most buildings has more points on it. All right. So, all the cards are chosen, the die is cast, and uh, you see the Egyptians filled their hand up with randoms, but they held a couple. The Norse, since they're in the lead, also held a couple cards, but they took a lot of randoms. Maybe they can get a bonus out of that. Right now they're in what I'd say is the better position just because of the cash they have. If they can trigger the wonder, they win. Uh, so the Egyptians have to be really, really careful about doing a gather operation. On the other hand, the Egyptians can't trigger the wonder without getting some resources. So they might be able to attack and, and take some from the Norse. We'll see. There might be a lot of battles this round. The Greeks, on the other hand, well, they're out of it unless something magical happens for them. And we'll see. They threw their entire hand and drew randoms in the hope that they would get that magical thing. So the Egyptians went on a big raid, attacked the Norse, took five resources, they're in slightly better shape, they picked up a pip for winning the last battle, which was kind of silly of the Greeks to put there, but anywhere else they almost certainly would lose it, except maybe the wonder, that was their one maybe option, but they're behind in terms of ages, so they're thinking, I can't even get the wonder. Maybe I can get something else. Maybe I can get the buildings if things go really ugly and uh, the Norse start losing buildings due to attacks. But the Egyptians did not want to take that route. The Norse went forward with a special gather. They paid a pip to prevent anyone else from getting anything. Oh, make another. They did not count. Ten, eight, ten, nine, nine. They're almost there, but not quite. They still are a couple pips behind. They'll have to do another gather if they want a shot. And of course, that's assuming nobody attacks them. Because if anyone attacks them, they can take whatever they like. The Greeks find themselves in a spoiler position. They could attack the Norse, knock out some buildings, take resources. That would make it's very, very difficult for the Norse to win, in either case. Uh, they have less soldiers, however, than the Egyptians do. If they defeated the Egyptians in battle, they might get the largest army bonus. Big deal there? Maybe. Except, what if the Egyptians don't want to fight? Well, what can you take? You could take some resources, and that would prevent the Egyptians from being able to get the wonder. You could take some buildings, and that would prevent the Egyptians from getting the most buildings possible. Either of them's interesting, but they sound like they'd give the wind over to the Norse. It's a hard call for me, but I think the only way to win is to hope. See, I only have a uh, look at my cards here. I have a couple of recruits. I don't really care about those right now. I have a gather, which allows me a bonus in food, but there's very, very little food around. So I'm not going to be able to get a big bonus off that. I have a straight gather of all resources. 
that's probably the best thing that I can do. The attack is nice, but I only have one of them. And I think I'm going to need to hold that towards the end. So I'm going to play a gather all resources, see what I get. I may be handing the wind to someone else, though. We'll see. The Egyptians built a couple houses. Now, if they can tie the Norse in terms of total build po uh, possibilities, they also can win. Now, let's look at what our numbers are here. The Norse are short on gold. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Do they have a quarry? They did not build a quarry yet. So, they can't build anything cheaply. They're good on everything, except they need a green and a gold. They're not going to have that, but maybe they have a special card that allows them to build cheaply. Doesn't look like it. I guess they're going to do a gather. It looks like the best they can do. Well, maybe they'll get lucky. This is the second time through. They're not going to be able to trade. Alright, they're going to do a gather. Can they get both wood and... They definitely need a green. They can get four green. If they pick fertile, they get a wood as well. Okay, so they'll do that. Four green, a wood, and... They have a wood mill, a wood workshop that gives them two more, and then they've got a dude they can put on the wood that gets them another one. This is the best they can do as far as I can tell. <sighs> Greeks get another shot. So the Greeks are attacking the Egyptian city, and the Egyptians look and they say, yeah, I think we have to fight. Because if they do not get most buildings, they, it looks like, will win. The Norse will get that, and we'll have more points. So, even if they save their largest army. So they have to fight, which means they have to risk their largest army. And they're also risking the most buildings here if they lose. Both sides have seven units on the board. Uh, the Greeks, big assortment of stuff, but no heroes. Whereas the Egyptians have a pharaoh and a priest present, which gives them a lot of power against those mythic creatures. Hard to tell, um, especially since I kind of randomized the picks. Not entirely, but to a good deal because I don't know how to make these things count. I don't know how to make informed decisions across the board. There may be something that's useless there. Elephants serve pretty well, though, for mortal troops. That much I can say. So far in matchups, which haven't always been in the Greeks' favor, the Greeks have been winning. They haven't lost a unit yet, whereas they've killed... Three Egyptians, including the Pharaoh, who had a big bonus against uh, the Hydra, uh, and the Sphinx, and now they're down to only a couple of pretty good units and their elephants. We'll see how it ends up. Things look really bad for the Egyptians at this point. The Hydra is at plus four from all the things it's been killing, and they don't really have much to serve against it except the priest. Now, the Greeks have something that could counter that, so we're going to keep rolling, I guess. And the Egyptians are finally defeated, although it is at a heavy cost for the Greeks, but they still have some of their better units left. Um, the Egyptians are pretty much tapped out of all their good units. They have some spearmen, I think, and uh, pretty much just their mortal stuff. Now, Egyptians lose two of their locations, and we're going to take, I'm not sure what away. See, here's what's interesting. The, uh, the temple is becoming very, very interesting at this point because it can buy a victory point, or more than one if, there's a, if, you, if you've got a trade card. Uh, so that could end up being the balance here because the wonder doesn't look like it's going to happen. It doesn't look like they're going to be able to win the most buildings now. What are we taking away from them? We're going to take away uh, their temple so that it's harder for them to win. And what else? Storehouse doesn't matter anymore. 
I kind of want to leave them decent for... Mm, no, that doesn't matter. I'll take away their armory as well. Why? Well, that way they can't stab back as easily. That's pretty much the only effect there. All right, now we're on the last card of the turn, uh, and starting with the Egyptians. The Egyptians look at their cards, and they've got the next age, totally useless to them. A couple attacks, think about that. Can't think of what to do with them. Could destroy a couple of Norse towns, but if the Norse have a build card of at least two, they'll be ahead in the most buildings anyway. They could attack the Greeks. Can't really gain anything there except spite. Except if the Greeks stand in their way and they defeat that army. But that army is a lot more potent than theirs, so I think attacks out. The next one, build. This was what they wanted to do. They play one blue, destroy a building off the Norse, build three buildings. Remember, they had two that they just lost. They have a full complement. They will n would not have lost the most buildings, presumably. They might not have gotten it, but they probably wouldn't lose it. And they might have gotten away with it. And they were sitting on the largest army. Well, neither of them is there now. Is this card good? Yeah, it's still a good option. But I think this is the best they can do. I think this gets them the closest to... Uh, they can't win. <laughs> That's the problem. They cannot win. Uh, because they don't have enough trade goods to build much. Uh, if they do this, they can use... Oh, wait. They lost their great temple. Okay, that decides it. They're going to play the build. And they destroy the Norse great temple. <laughs> and I'll see what they can build, but it ain't much. So they were pretty much hosed by that Greek move. So the Egyptians... Uh, they managed to build, I think, one house. That's all they had enough to build with, even though they had a better card. The Norse went with a building card as well. They filled out the rest of the houses. I think that puts them to nine, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they're still legitimate. They've got most buildings. What can the Greeks do? Greeks got nothing. Two recruits, totally useless. They already have large starmy. Gather food, no help there. And the other bonus just prevents people from gathering. They could build some buildings, whoop whoop, they can get a couple more houses or whatever, it doesn't really matter what, they're not in the next age, they can't build the wonder, the game is over now. I'm not going to even take the, the Greek turn because it can't affect anything essentially. So the Greeks have the largest army, they get this pot, and the Norse have the most buildings, and the Greeks manage to get themselves a second place finish. Which isn't bad, considering the situation they were in. They really hosed the Egyptians from almost guaranteed, well, from the lead. Not a guaranteed first place, but they were going to be able to probably do something to prevent the Norse from taking a victory. And, you know, with that build card, with the special effect and everything, with the largest army, they were in good shape. The Wonder never got built, and there we have it. That is the game. All right, I'll send this one up, and then we'll go to a review. No, I'm not doing it shirtless. My gut's too fat.